Hello and welcome everyone to the lab view exercises. In this video, we are particularly talking about the properties of the waveform charts and graphs. So let's just suppose that we have acquired the data and also displayed that data on our uh, front panel. And uh, there, now we want to make it more clear and we want to make it according to our standards. We want to make it look better. So how we can manipulate the properties? So at this video, uh, I will just keep this waveform chart, waveform graph and XY graph. So usually we are uh, playing with these three graphs during our work. So I'll just show you how to manipulate with their properties. So first thing first is I want to change uh, basically the line width or the thickness of any plot we have just did. So there are two methods. First we can just go to properties and there we'll find out another uh, dialog box pop in, pops up in front of us. So there I will go to just plots. In the plot section, we have different things available in here. We can just use its interpolation different methods, like how it interpolates. Like uh, in this way, the interpolation is now changed, and in this way, the interpolation again changed. And that's how we can also manipulate or play with its interpolation. Uh, but now, if we don't know how to make it interpolation, I will just use the simple way. We can make it the points basically. Right now, these were the points at which the data was being displayed. And similarly, we can also manipulate its thickness. The line thickness is very important as well because sometimes it is very uh, uh, thin that we cannot understand or we cannot see the data points. So we can just manipulate like this way or even we can change the line styles. Uh, let's just consider that if I also want to change the color of the line, I can just go into point fill lines and there i will find out the point line uh, point color is changed to uh, green and the line color will be changed to yellow and what if i if i just uh, lose that in here and what if i just go to uh, the background what if i want to change its background let's just suppose that if i just want to change its background uh, i will press ok then i'll go to view and there i will find out the tools palette in the tools palette, I can just uh, use a white color as for the background. As you can see right now, the white color is just painted on this waveform uh, chart uh, upon which the data points are being displayed. We can manipulate it according to our requirement. We can just uh, change uh, it accordingly. Let's just consider that uh, we have just made it red. So right now, these are the green points that are more clearly visible. Like in the similar way, we can also change the frame color as well. Uh, so at the above point, we have uh, uh, the yellow color. What if I want to make it completely disappear uh, like the transparent? So I can just remove uh, the borders uh, by this. And also, I can also remove the colors that is available in here by pressing this. So now as you can see clearly we have no boundaries or no frame across this waveform chart even we can remove the whole uh, set points like the background of the waveform chart like this way so it means that now it is completely invisible and now if i just turn on my autocratic tools palette and run my program now here you will find out some points are just shown uh, on my uh, front panel if I just go to properties and change its background to clouds now it is giving me more uh, suitable or you can say uh, better look according to make if I want to make a good or a better looking um, presentation of my uh, front VI or I'm creating any application like that so like this way if i just choose these black colors as well so now it is giving me much more uh, good looking of this waveform chart as well like in the similar way we can also manipulate with the properties of my waveform graphs as well so let's just consider that if i just go on to this its properties uh, i can also remove the basically the lines behind of this by going to grid style and colors and there I'll find out the grid lines are just uh, gone 
and like in the simpler way i can remove the y-axis lines as well so that is how its lines are also removed and like in the similar way i can just manipulate with its points and the thickness of the lines as well and change the line colors and line points and uh, let's just consider that this is the line and this these are the points upon which it is creating so what other things we can manipulate or do with these waveform charts and graphs so let's just consider that uh, on the waveform charts we have uh, uh, i can just again talk about a little bit more about it if we go to uh, advanced and there we have update mode so there are basically the three update mode sweep chart scope chart and sweep chart what are these and how they are being utilized so now at the front uh, at the, my screen you can see uh, how what is the difference between these three types of the charts uh, and uh, according to your research program or according to your requirement you can use any of these things in your program so uh, coming back and now uh, there are other different properties that we can manipulate or play with it uh, let's just go on to our waveform graphs uh, what are the visible items that we can also display we can display the scale legends which means that right now the x-axis is showing me uh, the time uh, the axis and uh, uh, if i just again go on to visible items i can also show the graph palette which is just displayed in here which allows me to basically manually uh, hold the data sets and uh, move its position manually and we can also zoom in zoom out or we can just uh, i can just check this much data point like this way so i can just even zoom in more into the data sets but we can also move this like this way so right now it is being zoomed in too much zoom into this waveform chart so we will just go back and here we i can just show you uh, the graph palette and then i can show you the cursor legend but right now we are not using any of the cursors so we will go and we can show the x scroll bar the x scroll bar is usually used in the waveform charts the x scroll bar allows us to check the previous history of the waveform charts so like this way we can check the previous history as well of the waveform charts as well so like in the similar way so how we just uh, show or we can use the cursors basically so what is the use of the cursor and first we will generate the cursor basically then we will go on to uh, let's just go to its properties and there we will find out the cursors and in the cursor section right now it is all um, gray and disabled and right now i cannot do anything because we didn't have any cursor right now so i will add a cursor the cursor zero and its color is yellow right now but i will turn it to uh, let's just consider it uh, ah, red i can just so that i can see it properly and clearly so this is my cursor zero and uh, this cursor line thickness it will be a little bit more and uh, free dragging is allowed and i can also add a cursor one more cursor which will be in my y-axis the first cursor was as you can see on my waveform graph is here and this cursor uh, color will be yellow so now if i just move the positions here we have one cursor and here we have a second cursor so as you can check right now the one cursor is in the form of red which we can just freely move up to the points by just dragging it in here and the second cursor is our uh, in the form of yellow so we can add as many cursors as we want to uh, see the data basically and uh, uh, choose what we want to do so there were the cursors we can also control this cursor by using property nodes but first i will uh, we will also talk about this property node but first we will see what other things we can do uh, with our xy graph as well so in the xy graph we can use the bar plots as well so here we have the bar plots if i just change the bar plot of 
this one the second my uh, second um, uh, plot as well as i can show you right now we have the bar plots in the form of the bar graph so if i run my program right now as you can see clearly the data is being changed but uh, one problem is we are also seeing the lines that we don't want so we can also remove the lines by going to the uh, by going into the point style and uh, sorry interpolation and there will find out without line so it will remove the lines basically so we didn't want the lines so i'll go to interpolation again and there i'll find out without line so now it is we can also change it colors as well so let's just consider that um, the color of this bar should be green so all right so and the second one should be color is red all right so now if i run the program as you can see this is manipulating the data and i have explained more properties in my other videos as well so you can check out those so now we will particularly talk about the property nodes in the uh, how we can manipulate the xy graph by using the property nodes so in here let's just consider that i am talking about this waveform graph so if i just go to its create and then we will just go to its property nodes there i'll find out a number of properties that we can manipulate programmatically that was all the things that we were doing in the front panel while it while it is not in the running mode but let's just consider that we want to change or uh, set the properties according to our data or the calculations behind the front panel so let's just consider that i will give you a glimpse that how we can manipulate it let's just say that we have active cursor and there we will find out the frame color let's just say that i will change it to i will change all to right and there i will find out uh, this uh, waveform graph belongs to this one and here is our waveform graph yes and let's just consider that if the value basically goes greater than uh, if the value goes greater than greater than uh, let's just say that if any of the value goes if the value goes greater than let's just say I can use a constant in here if the value goes greater than 50 then its color should be changed so that why that is why I will use the select function I can just attach that in here and right now it is giving me an error because it is giving me the output as uh, an array and we cannot give it as an array output so i will just delete this function right now i can just uh, say since we are manipulating with the numbers so i will use this one and create a constant of 50 so now i will i can just use instead of this waveform graph i can just use the uh instead of waveform graph let's just go with it the waveform graph and then i can use it accordingly or i can just get or i can just do it as i wanted like uh, first uh, thing is i want to make the index array so that i can get the data according to the set points according to my terminal or according to the iteration like 0 1 2 3 and here i will get the data as my y point so within that data set uh, i will just find out you know it will depend on the loop iterations basically so i'll just remove that as well i want that um, 
frame all right i can control the frame color by creating let's just say that this is the constant that i have created and this constant will be dependent upon uh, delete this wire out and i can use the select function as from here case selector i can uh, now use a button from my front panel let's just go on to the front panel and there i'll find out the color uh, the button basically so if i use this button and connect with my case selector in here and like in a similar way i can create a constant or copy this color constant in here select that as well and i can just now manipulate the color of the frame as well so i can just let it pass to the frame color and now if i run my program in here uh, right now the color of my uh, the color is red right now because it the mechanical action of the button is this one because uh, is latch when released so we'll just change it to switch when pressed so now if i run my program right now it the color of the waveform graph uh, um, uh, frame is red right now if i just press it it is changed to green right now so because it is just pressed so now if i just again uh, turn it to false it should be changed to red yes as you can see it is taking some time because of the loop iteration delay but it do changes so that is how we can manipulate with the uh, properties of the waveform charts and graphs as well by using the cursors we can also uh, uh, we can also move the cursors according to our requirements by using the cursors by let's just go suppose that if i just go to create and then property node and there i will find out the cursor scroll the cursor list and the cursor um, i can go to the cursor x scale and y scale cursor allow dragging and there i'll find out the cursor position 